Okay, welcome back. I'm now on question number 10 from this May, June 2020 um, IGCSE Cambridge International Exam, uh, paper 2 1, the 0580 syllabus. And this question here is about angle, angle theorems, angles in circles. And here we have um, a circle, and we've got points A, B, C, D, E, F all lie on the circle, it's on the circumference of the circle, which has a center at O. We are asked to find the value of x and y. Okay, now, in order to find um, such, or to answer such questions about angles in general and angles in circles, first, of course, you need to know the laws or the rules or the um, properties of angles in circles. Now, one of the things that we uh, should realize about angles in circles is when you're trying to find an angle, like I'm trying to find the angle X here. What you can do is, um, what, I, what I always like to do is to draw like a line when, um, f following where the angle comes from. So this angle X, I can see, goes back to A and it goes back to B. Okay, so this is the angle you can say ABC, right? Angle A, B, and C. That's that's our angle X. X degrees. Now, there's another angle that also comes from the same two points. It's standing on the same two points on this arc. Okay, the arc AB. And if you just follow the other angle that goes, that other angle goes to O and then back to B again. So that, that angle stands on the same arc. And that's the angle <coughs> AOB. Okay, and that's equal to 110 degrees. All right. Now, one of the important properties that we know about angles and circles are angles that stand on the same arc, stand at the same two points on the circumference of the circle. Okay, that's where they originate from, like ACB comes from AB. Okay, and one of them is at the center, like AOB, it's at the center itself. And the other one's at the circumference. The one at the center is always twice the one at the circumference. Okay, the one at the center is always twice the one at the circumference. So I know that 110 degrees is going to be two times what x is. That means x is going to be a half of 110. Okay, which is going to be 55 degrees. So we know that x is 55 degrees. Okay, so x equals 55 degrees. Okay, they didn't ask us to give a reason. We've kind of given it there. But we can say, um, I mean, the way that they, they normally say the angles, if you just say angles at center, they understand exactly what you mean. But you don't have to give a reason. But if they did, which sometimes they do, if you just put in brackets angles at center or angle at center is uh, twice angle at circumference, something like that, that would be fine as your uh, reason. No needed here, but it's not needed here. But if, if it was, you would have to write something. Now we'll turn to angle Y. Now, you can do a very similar thing with angle Y. What you could actually do here, what I would do is I would take this page and I would turn it upside down so I can see angle Y in a similar kind of way to <coughs> angle X. Okay, in, in the exam, I would turn it upside down and look at the angle like this because angle Y is going from D to C and then C to E. So the, if you do a very similar thing, think, what other angle is standing on this arc ED. The angle Y, you can see here that you have the angle ECD is our angle Y. <clears throat> what other angle stands on ED? Well, we can see it's angle F. Okay, angle F. Let's put that a bit straighter. We see EFD. That's also standing on the same two points E and D. Both these angles <laughs> originate from this point. So we can say angle E, F, D is equal to 24. Now both of these two angles are standing on the same arc and they're in the same segment. They're in the same segment. Okay, they're both in the same segment of the circle, this chord A, E, D. It's into two segments, then this, this major segment. And they're both on the circumference this time. They're both on the circumference that means they're going to be equal to each other. Okay, angles <laughs> in the same segment, they call it. All right? So Y is equal to the same as 24. All right? So Y is equal to 24 degrees. Okay, you don't have to put reason again. 
if you want to do, you can say angles in same segment. That's what you would write if you were going to write something there. And <coughs> that's the answer, question number 10. Okay, so there's two different rules we use. One of them is angles at the center, standing on the same arc, all right, are twice angles at the circumference standing on that same arc. And if the angle is formed on the circumference standing on a particular arc, another angle standing on the same arc in the same segment on the circumference will be equal to that. Okay, so those are the two rules of angles in circles that we used to answer question number 10. Other questions <coughs> about angle properties can be found in this, like our geometry angles will be found in this playlist over here. Other questions from this particular paper, May and June 2020, Variant 2.1 um, can be found in this playlist over here. And you can subscribe to the, the channel by clicking on the link that should be found over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.